Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Paul Bates Raceway for this year's Soapbox Derby of Culpeper. My name is Jonathan Krawchuk, station manager here at Culpeper Media Network, and Nicole and I are absolutely ecstatic to be here once again to cover this wonderful family event. Now, folks, this is the 19th annual Soapbox Derby of Culpeper. However, this year marks 10 years that the Soapbox Derby of Culpeper has played home here at Paul Bates Raceway. 10 years of amazing racing, 10 years of winners, and this year is going to be no different. We're in for a fantastic day. The weather is cooperating. The kids are excited. The volunteers are working. Moms and dads are anxiously awaiting their son or daughter's chance to ride down Paul Bates Raceway. So ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, and enjoy as we cover this year's Soapbox Derby here at Paul Bates Raceway. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Okay, I know we've been doing a little bit of racing, but that was not good. I want to hear it. Drivers, pit crew, families, how are you this morning? Thank you. That's a little better. I appreciate it. We could not have asked or prayed for a better day. So I'm telling you, thank you, Lord. It is going to be gorgeous, a little breezy, and we will take it any given time. So folks, before we go too much further, and before I introduce you to the vision of the Piedmont Area Soapbox Derby, I want to introduce you, many already know, and you are here at Paul Bates Raceway. This wouldn't be possible for our 10th year at Paul Bates Raceway without Paul Bates himself. So Paul, let's give him a big round of applause. Thank you. Well, you're right, Paul. And he just said, we, he, we couldn't have done this without you all. But folks, back in 2003, 19 years ago, there was a vision from this gentleman. So I'm going to introduce you to my brother, Tony Troilo. Tony, thank you. Thank you, Francis. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, it is hard to imagine. Here we are. 19 years later, I had a scare this morning. I came down Blue Ridge Avenue, and I saw the hay bales and the trails, and I thought, oh, God, here we go again. But this gentleman to my left had a vision beyond mine of having the derby. We need to move. And Paul and his crew came here 10 years ago, got this track for us all over this country. We have people coming in from the East Coast everywhere, Ohio, Florida, Connecticut, wherever, to come race in Culpeper, the Piedmont Area Soapbox. So, Paul, to you and your crew, thank you. I don't need that. What a blessed day we've got. I, I can remember some days it was so scorching hot we couldn't even stand it. Uh, we called this in. Actually, I, I, I talked with Pastor Dan Carlton, and he passed a few words on to me to, about how to do this. And thank you, Pastor. It was a great time. But So we're so blessed to have a great day. To the volunteers that are here today, to the original group that started the Derby, thank you. And to all the other volunteers that are here today that have come and joined us. But especially to you, the drivers and the family. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have a Derby. And each year, it just goes on and on and on and on. And I, I want to say to you, some of the, the parents uh, and, and older drivers, when you see me, you tell me who you are, because I swear sometimes I can't even remember what my name is. But I see you on the street, and you thank me, and I, I swear I, I'm wondering, you? Oh, yeah. Who was that, Paul? <laughs> buddy, buddy. So, anyhow, it, it's been a long time, 19 years. Next year we'll embark on 20. But you know what? Today we've got 20 years of racing, looking us uh, in the, down the road. But 19 is going to be the day today, and we're going to have a great time. Everybody is going to be a winner here today because when I hear each one of the drivers say good luck to the other drivers at the top when they're coming down the hill, that tells me we've done something right, and you have done something right. So thank you, parents, supporters, guardians, whatever. So thank you. Well, and also the volunteers, you see the blue, We, I guess you could say we're the original. Uh, Tom Perrigan. Oh, my God. There you Thanks, Tom. I know you were part of it, and Troy, and HB, and uh, I, I, if I get in trouble, I'd start. Anyhow, but see the yellow shirts? Uh, and they're not highway people. They're volunteers here today. <laughs> but give them. Yeah, it, they've, they've come out, and a lot of other volunteers are helping us. So thanks, all of you. So with, I'm going to shut up because I know we want to get racing. We want to move on. So I'm going to ask 
pass to Dan Carlton to come forward. Will you pray with me? God, we thank you for a beautiful day, for the joy of being together. We have realized these last couple of years how important it is to be together. And so, Lord, we thank you for our community. We thank you that you've called us into community. And thank you for all the hard work by volunteers, by racers, by parents, by everybody to make this happen. And so we ask your blessings on this day. Keep us safe. Keep us in the right attitude. And help us to glorify you in all that we do. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Great day you called in. I, I don't know how you did it, but uh, you, got, you got connections there. Thank you. Uh, the Robot family uh, is going to lead us in the national anthem. And if you'll turn your attention to the top of the hill, the flag, please. And the Robot family. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Way! Beautiful, beautiful. Thank all of you. Well, Behind everybody that does and keeps us going and every day in, and she's cracking the whip, and she's telling us what we're doing and what we're not doing, Miss Sheila Rutherford, our race director. What will we do without you? So here she is, and I, I'm sorry. I'm going to go do what I'm supposed to do now. Sheila. Thank you, Tony. Good morning, racers and pit crew and family and friends. I am so glad to see everybody here at Paul Bates Raceway. I know everybody wants to get to racing, so we're going to keep this kind of short and sweet, right? Yeah. Couple of basic rules. No smoking, no vaping on this side of the building. Go to the parking lot. Not in the por porta potties, please. If your driver is still racing, we need their pit crew member in the pits with them helping them assist move the car, listen for their number to be called, their name. If you want, and I, I do want to address this. If you're wondering why we had y'all show and check in while we were running masters, there's two reasons. One, they're a small division. We can get them done um, while y'all were checking in. But the other thing is, is all of those kids in that division will volunteer all day pulling cars and so we kind of help, need their help helping. So wanted to just address that. Sorry, this wind is killing me. I love our weather today. I will say that. And I hate microphones. Tony touched on something that I want to make sure all of you drivers are thinking about today. Sportsmanship. Please wish your competitor well at the top of the hill. Thank them for a good race at the bottom of the hill. Cheer on your fellow competitors. Be supportive. Sometimes it's as hard to lose gracefully as it is to win gracefully. Both of those things we all need to work on in life. I want each of, your, of the drivers out here, look at your pit crew and tell them thank you. You would not be out here racing without your pit crew. 
Then later as the day progresses, I would really love it if you, folk, you drivers would tell your volunteers up and down the hill, pulling your cars, loading you into the ramps, tell them thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, with opening ceremonies have come to a close, it's time to speak with the one, the only, the unbelievably talented and massively wonderful, Miss Sheila Rutherford. Sheila Rutherford, you are the race director for this soapbox derby, correct? Yes, sir, and I'm loving every minute of it. <laughs> now, how long you've been? How long have you been race director now? This might be my fifth local. I'm not sure. It kind of blends in because my son started racing, and then I started volunteering, and it just went from there. So, I mean, Sheila, you couldn't ask really for a better day for racing today. This this is absolutely beautiful. Pretty and sunny, but nice cool breeze, nice, unbelievably moderate temperatures for June. Yeah, I, we are a big fan of the moderate temperatures, especially here at Paul Bates Raceway. Now, Sheila, tell, tell us a little bit about, uh, tell us how many kids we have today. Uh, just talk to you about the race in general. Wonderful. We have 54 racers today. It is up from last year, so we are excited about that. We have not re gotten back to our pre-COVID numbers, but we are working back that way. Well, if I, I think the last time we, we went all the way down to, I think it was 28 racers, I think it was? Yes, sir. It was 28 racers last year, and our highs have been over 100 racers on Blue Ridge Avenue. Yeah. Well, it's, it's nice to have those numbers come back, rebound. It's great to see everybody here at Paul Bates Raceway. I mean, and, and the thing that we're talking about today and the thing we see all over the track are these families here for the Soapbox Derby. Yes, sir. And having them work together to pit crew for their child, work with their child on the car, a child can really put into use the lessons that they learn at school. Now, I do love you said working together because that's the theme for today is families working together. We see it on the shirts and we see it on the track. And one of the things we've talked about year in, year out is the families coming together. And it may not even be that driver's family. It's other families coming to help out, and that's one of the things I absolutely adore about this event, is that you have, you need something, well, hey, I have one over here, let me help you out. We get to see that all the time. Yes, most definitely. The families help each other, if that's with lifting of a car, working on the car, changing a brake pad, and then our volunteers, a number of them have never had a child race. They just heard about the event, contacted me, said they'd like to volunteer. And then we have volunteers that come back from our prior racers. I, I love the fact that you know we're talking about all this, these volunteers, everybody coming together to make this race what it is. Uh, I mean, there's just so, there's just so many components to the Soapbox Derby. They're really, you, you mentioned briefly talking about using school here. We've had STEM uh, integration before. The kids are putting uh, into use what they learn. I love how, I hate using the word, but it really is a synergistic approach. Mm -hmm. Well, and my understanding is that Culpeper County Public Schools and some of our surrounding counties are bringing the STEM groups back into the classrooms this year because they've had a couple of years where they have not had the teams participating. Well, I'm excited to see all these folks racing. I, we have a full day of racing ahead of us. I know you're a busy young lady. I appreciate you taking time. I'm surprised that you didn't have your clipboard and your walkie-talkie right here. I appreciate you taking a break from the action to talk with us. Thank you very much. And I want to say we are very excited. We are sending a Super Kids champion to Akron. We will be crowning our stock and Super Stock and Masters champion later today that will travel with our Super Kids champion to Akron to represent Piedmont Area Soapbox Derby there. And if any of your listeners have a racer who's interested in one of our divisions, you can always contact me, and my number is 540-229-4714. Thank you, Sheila. I appreciate it. Well, again, we have to find out who we're going to send to Akron, and to do that, we have to race.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we had the opportunity to speak with a few folks and see the beginning of Soapbox Herbie, but we are in the middle of it. And we're in the middle of it because we're at the top of the hill with the man with the plan. Tony Troilo, how the heck are you today? I thought you were the man with the plan, Johnny. Uh, no, I, I, I let you borrow that title oh, okay. just for this interview. Just for the day. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, it's great. It's a fantastic day. The weather has been fantastic. The kids are having a ball. And we, the volunteers and everyone organized, is having a great time. And, you know, that's one of the things I wanted to talk with you about, the sheer amount of volunteers that you guys use, employ to make this event go on. Talk to me a little about how many people you have. What's your schedule like for volunteering? You know what? It, it's it, unbelievable when you ask people, yes, I will come help and volunteer. And guess what? You look around, you see the blue shirts, you see the uh, yellow shirts, and you just see some people driving, and they, they're up and down the hill. They're doing anything, we, anything and everything we ask them to do. It is just fantastic. Now I know yet to call Pepper. <laughs> it's that's one of the beautiful things when you have when you have something that makes a difference in the community, people are willing to help in any way that they can. Unbelievable. Just fantastic. And this community has supported this derby for nineteen years. And here we are, ten years at this track. Unbelievable. Just had a gentleman tell me he came down from New York to see this. He said this is unbelievable track. He said this mirror is Akron, and actually I think it's better than Akron. Uh, I know it's better than Akron. Come on, they're not going to see this. We won't let them. <laughs> Show it to them. I'm clear. I'm okay. <laughs> I, now, was, uh, I was on the director board up there, so I've always been telling them how good we are. <laughs> now, now the, the days. I mean, obviously there's a little wind going on, but I have seen nothing but smiles from volunteers, parents, drivers, just everybody. Uh, it's just going. It's just rolling like a derby yeah everything is rolling well and I know it's due to the fact we have great leadership over the years but also because of the wonderful volunteers that make a difference well the volunteers make it I couldn't do it Paul couldn't do it it's when we look around here Johnny look at you and your crew what you have done for us over the years go back to Stan and my god you know just fantastic I've never I got to go back to the first time when we start, started talking about this you know we said the derby and we said how can we do it Stan Karras said listen decide to do it I will take care of it and I will get the people and he and he did I mean and we recognize every year someone with the Stan Karras award for what he did for this derby yeah I, I know and I know brought you right along you were just like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I grew up and out that, that's what happened that's, to me no, I don't know about that but you grew but up it, I mean a lot of see Stan saw it he saw what it could do and he just took it and just said do it I'm right there with you you know normally it would be this would be the time where I'd ask that question did you ever think we'd be standing here looking back then did you ever think we'd be here but I think I think you guys knew that you had lightning in the bottle for we had lightning in the bottle after the first race yeah. we had no idea I thought when we first sitting in my office and Stan was sitting I said we're gonna run one race and that's what we're gonna do and it goes on for many stories and what it's done for families and brought people together brought the community together and their support after the first race I knew it was a no-brainer this was gonna be an annual and look at where we are look at this track look at the building look at the support uh, it's gonna outlive me well, I know that uh, you guys have certainly left a legacy on Culpeper, but also on the Soapbox Derby itself. Not just Culpeper, but nationwide. Oh, uh, no the, question. The impact that Culpeper and your team over the years has had is has been has been marked, that's for sure. Well, look at our rallies that we have throughout the year. People come in, families come in to all part, from all parts of the country. And I'm talking about Florida, all the way to Maine, all the way over Ohio, Illinois, Indiana. They come here to race. And when they leave, they say, we're coming back. <laughs> so it's great. And you know what? When they come from all of these places, they come to Culpeper, they have their fun, they spend leave. their money, and then they're gone. And they leave. And we don't, <laughs> we don't have to provide services. Oh, yeah, we provide services here at the track. Well, <laughs> exactly. Now, Tony, I see you have another crop of cars coming up. I'm going to let you go. I want to say thank you so much. I look forward to talking with you every single year here on out. Uh, it's a treat for me to be, have you here with us. Thank well, you. And your crew, too. Yeah, she, she's all right. Ah, she we'll keep her around for a little bit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, again, it's great to talk with Tony. It's great to see this wonderful day unfold in front of us. And again, one of the key components to the success of this and every derby are the volunteers making it work. Amen to that.
Now, folks, as we've seen, there are a number of volunteers here making this race day, well, basically work. And one of those volunteers has a few more credits to his name. First off, you know, you look familiar. I may have seen you coming down the hill a couple times. Do me a favor. What's your name again? My name is Luke Morris. Wait, Luke Morris, that name sounds familiar. We're, we're, wait, weren't you a past champion? Yes, sir. Tell me, uh, tell me, when did you win? What division and how long ago was it? Wow. Um, I know, I, it was a lot of questions all of a sudden. I, I started in stock maybe around 2011-ish. So this is the 10th the year I've been with the Derby. Um, not too long after, I, I won the local. I, I'm not sure what year. <laughs> and then um, I think super stock uh, that came soon after, maybe 2015-ish. And then I won Masters here in 2018. So you definitely have some experience coming down Paul Bates Raceway. Uh, now, I, I've noticed you have a beautiful red shirt on. Uh, for those who are unfamiliar, what exactly does the red shirt mean? So the red shirt is the shirt of uh, the junior committee. We have some people out here in uh, blue shirts. They're the senior committee. This is the, uh, um, I guess, the, the driver's division of the uh, the committee. You know, people that can come out, people that are the age of the drivers that can, you know, talk to them and, yeah. and give them advice. Yeah, so uh, because you've been racing for so many years, you can offer that insight. So you know exactly what these kids are going through right now. Absolutely, yes. And so what is that? What is What was going through your mind, and what do you think is going through every driver's mind as they go through racing today? It's certainly a lot of uh, anticipation, a lot of uh, thrill, you know, a lot a lot of adrenaline going on here. Um, I know cer <laughs> certainly I had a lot when I was when I was going through this. Yeah. So um, again, we've talked about the, briefly about the junior committee. Uh, what exactly are your duties entail? I mean, I know I, we've seen you over pulling cars and making sure the kids are being safe at the bottom of the hill. But what other details are part of being in the junior committee? Well, of course, you know, helping here today, helping set up. Um, we do have other volunteer opportunities. You know, when Paul Bates Raceway will come make a presence at uh, any other youth events, we always come in and help out with those. So you are just a busy bee. <laughs> I try to be, yes, very much so. So I'm not sure uh, if you know, the Junior Committee was started here, mm -hmm. and it's actually been uh, recognized by the National Derby Association. Now, do you feel, how important do you feel it is to have something like the Junior Committee for our Derby? Very, very important, you know, because the, these drivers, they're, they're just starting out. They don't know anyone. So it's good to have someone their age that went through the same thing that they're going through right now to talk to them and coach them through this sort of thing. Well, again, it's a fantastic input, and I appreciate what you do. I know you're a busy guy today. You and I will be talking quite a bit at the bottom of the hill when the finals come down. But, Luke, I want to say again, thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you for your help with the Derby. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, sir. All right, now there are a lot of kids that are being coached. Um, well, they're, they're, they're understanding more because of individuals like Luke and the junior committee members. But of course, as we talk about, the kids are all here. And you know what? I could go interview them a lot, but we should hear from them themselves. Hi, I'm Marcus Bruning. I, I'm a soapbox racer. I, I, what I like about racing is uh, going down the track with another person racing against them. My, my pit crew is my dad and my neighbor. Hey, hi, I'm Mara. <laughs> Say, my, I'm nine. Fun facts about um, Subbox Derby, I like to have fun and do hard work. And my, my pit crew <laughs> is my dad, CJ, and Karen. Hello, I'm Lily Johnson, and I am eight years old. The thing I love about Soapbox Derby is that you get to have a fun time with your family and fun time yourself. Um, my pit crew is CJ Johnson and Jeff Say. I'm Maddie Say, and I'm 12 years old. I love Soapbox Derby because you can just have fun and be with your friends. My pit crew is Karen Johnson, my dad Jeff Say, <clears throat> and CJ Johnson. Yeah. My name is Jeremiah, and what and my pit crew is my mom, my dad, and what I like about the derby is that you can go as fast as you want. My name is Aiden Garen, and what I like about this soapbox derby racing is I I like to go fast, so going fast down the hill makes me feel like I'm Sonic. So, and my pit crew is my mom, my dad, and my stepfather. 
Well, they come from all over our community. They come with their friends, they come with their family, and they come for a lot of different reasons. But they all come here for one purpose, and that's to win. All righty, folks, this is our B phase for Heat 45 and Superstock. We have Katie Johnson in lane number one now, and we have Alana Derika in lane number two. Alana holds the advantage with a point zero five zero. This is going to decide who is going to take our third place and who is going to race on to meet up with Maeve Cuba in the finals. Folks, representing this particular heat is going to be Culpepper Midday Lions and Culpepper 92 Lions. Folks, they are on the track. Remember, this is super stock. It is a B phase. Katie's in one, Alana's in two. Alana has the advantage, 0 0.050. Taking that, it was lane number one with a point zero one two. That was Katie in lane one with a point zero one two. That is not quite enough. Alana, you are gonna advance on with a point zero three eight to meet up with Maeve. Folks, put your hands together for Katie Johnson, car 289. Katie, you are our third place finisher today. Great job. Hey folks, I need you all to stop what you're doing and cheer on for these two. This is our super stock and this is our B phase. We have Alana in lane number one. We have Maeve in lane number two. As it stands, Maeve has the advantage with a point zero two three. Now keep in mind, Maeve is our winner of winners and has not lost to any opponent. And this is a double elimination. So let's see what pans out on this particular run. Can Alana come back and win to send them both back up to the top or will Maeve prevail? So folks, as it stands, Maeve has the advantage point zero two three. Folks, this heat is brought to you by our friends at Oakview National Bank. Justin and your crew, thank you so much for what you do for us. Alrighty, folks, they are on the track, so let's give them some cheering and yell them on. Maeve's, uh, sorry, Alana's in one, Maeve is in two. Wow, oh, that was a close one, guys. We're talking thousands. It is lane number one with a point zero zero two. That was lane number one, Alana in lane with a point zero zero two. Folks, that is not quite enough. So I want you to put your hands together for Alana Derica. She is our second place champion today. Congratulations. And folks, put your hands together for Maeve Cuba. Maeve, you are our champion going to Akron. Congratulations. Hey. Tony, we got you down. It is Heat 61 to figure out who's going to be our third place and who's going on to meet up with Ava. In lane number one, we have Ryder Tippett in car 118. He's racing for FFX Commandry number 25. And in lane number two, we've got Mac Wolford racing for the Lunch Bunch of Rappahannock. Right now, Mac has the advantage with a point zero three four. This is a B phase, and it's brought to you by Ed's Awards and Engraving. Folks, they are at the halfway point, getting ready to come across the finish line. It is lane number one with a point one three seven. That was lane number one with a point one three seven rider. And folks, that is enough. Rider Tippett is going to advance with an overall of point one zero three. Mac Wolford, congratulations. You are our third place champion today in our stock division. Congratulations.
All righty, Tony, we're ready for you. Folks, I need you all to make some noise. This is going to be the B phase. We have winner of winners. Ava Morris is now in lane two. So as it stands, Ryder Tippett's in lane one in car 118. Ava Morris is in lane two in car 1031. Ava has the advantage with a point 181. Ryder's in one. Ava's in two. And folks, please make sure you stay back from the track. I know it's our finals, but we want to give these drivers the same respect. Alrighty, folks, let's give them some noise and cheer them on. Riders in one, Ava's in two. This heat brought to us by Gary's Ace Hardware. Taking that, it is lane number one with a point one two six. That is lane one. Sorry, with a um, point one two six. That was not quite enough. So, Ryder Tippett, congratulations, Ryder. You are our second place finisher today. Han fans, put your hands together for Ava Morris. Ava is our first place champion heading to Akron, Ohio as our stock champion. Congratulations, Ava. I did my oh, yeah. 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 Eddie Rutherford is in lane number one, racing in car 330 for Rutherford Racing. In lane number two is Aiden Dorica at car 310, racing for Dorica Family Racing. Folks, put your hands together. Here is our champion on the track. It is lane number one with a point one one one. That is Eddie in lane number one with a point one one one. Folks, I want you to put your hands together. Aiden Dereka, congratulations on your second place finish today. I am so proud of you. Folks, put your hands together. Fast, Eddie Rutherford, you buddy. You're going to Akron and you are our final champion. So, folks, we are going to start with our super kids. And I'm going to just sort of run through a couple of our race champion trophy owners. And they include Community Bank of the Chesapeake. If you're here, raise your hand, a representative. The Culpeper Eagles, Aerie 4551. Environmental System Services, our third place trophy owner. Kids Central, our second place trophy owner. And if I could have, if Brent and Alicia McNay are still here with Brinco Solutions, they had to leave, they were here most of the day. So we thank them. And Tony, if you will step in in their place with Sheila. Folks, I really want you to put your hands together. You all witnessed our super kid champion, Remington Robson. Come on up, sir. Remington, we are so proud of you. Remy, we are so proud of you. Mom Kelly, thank you. And from Brinco, if you can turn that around for them, we're going to take a picture of it. Brinco Solutions is sending you to Akron, buddy. Congratulations. Great racing.
Remington, thank you, buddy. Kelly, thank you, and the family. Now, good luck getting that in your car. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, I would like to start with our stock division and our fourth place trophy. If there's a representative from the Jones Group CPAs and consultants here, yell, raise your hand. And if not, Tony, if you could represent David Jones and Sheila, the recipient and winner of the Jones Group trophy. Folks, put your hands together for Zach Morris in car 1038. Zach, congratulations. Zach is racing for performance signs. Great job. So our third place trophy is P.W. Stillwell Plumbing, and the recipient of our third place trophy is Mac Wolford racing for the Lunch Bunch. Clore English Trophy is our second place trophy in our stock division. So folks, the recipient of the Clore English Trophy, put your hands together for Ryder Tippett, riding our 118. The recipient of our Oakview National Bank Trophy and representing the Piedmont Area Soapbox Derby in Akron as our champion. Put your hands together for Miss Ava Morris with performance signs. Bernard Weaver with Weaver's Automotive. He is our fourth place trophy. So the recipient of the Weaver's Automotive trophy in our super stock division is Savannah Huggins. Congratulations. <laughs> our third place trophy is is the Cedar Mountain Stone Trophy, and our recipient is, in car 289, Miss Katie Johnson racing for Wakefield Country Day School. Our second place winner is the recipient of the Merchant's Grocery Company Trophy, and that, this young lady's a little dear to my heart because she's racing in Gilmore's car, number 241. Put your hands together for Miss Alana Dorica. Um, so our first place champions trophy in Superstock is the Serve Recycling Trophy. And folks, I want you to put your hands together because this represent us in Akron. She's racing for Castleton Festival. Put your hands together for Maeve Cuba. Congratulations. Maeve, congratulations from the folks at WISE. But Sheila, I'm going to repeat that just so Culpeper Media Network hears it. But a big thank you to Aiden DeRico for his Eagle Scout project. He actually built our champion's bleachers for placement. He actually has one through eight, but today we're using one through four. So Aiden, thank you. 
And guys, let's give our super stock champions a big welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Folks, the master's division is sort of elusive. It is the car that everybody's like, oh my lands. We had four racers today and all four of them just blew my mind. So if I have a representative from Cherry Street Building Supply, Nadine and the Smoots own the Cherry, or sorry, our fourth place trophy this year. So if we could, I want you to put your hands together for our masters, recipient of the Cherry Street Building Supply Trophy, Jonathan Johnson, driving for Bates Cars. Our third place trophy is owned by A&B Kearns Trucking and Stone and Landscape Supply. So our third place winner in Masters, I want you to put your hands together, Miss Kayla Crawford, Woo! driving for Culpepper Midday Lions. Good job, Kayla. Second place trophy in our master's division is owned by Country Chevrolet, and our recipient for this year's Country Chevrolet trophy, put your hands together, driving for Dorica Family Racing, Aiden Dorica. Jefferson Home Builders, this is our first place master's trophy, and it's known as the Jefferson Builders Trophy. So the recipient of our first place master's and going to represent us in Akron, I am so proud of you, it is none other than Fast Eddie Rutherford. Good job, Eddie. And folks, let's cheer these master's drivers on. Our best in show in our stock division is known as the Chrysler of Culpeper Trophy. And this year, This year, we would like to present our best in show racing for Clara English Funeral Home in car 1003 to Miss Lily Johnson in this stock division. And our super stock best in show <coughs> representing Culpeper County Sheriff's Department Mr. Braden Johnson, congratulations. <laughs> Folks in our master's division, this car was sleek, it was fast, it was shiny. Congratulations, racing for Rutherford Racing, Mr. Eddie Rutherford, best in show. Guys, congratulations, that is awesome. Let's give them a big hand. Tony, I would love to ask you to come forward. This is Rawson and Troilo's sportsmanship trophy. 
This trophy is about sportsmanship from the first day we start till today. It's how they represent themselves, their selflessness, how they treat others, how they work with other drivers and with the other adults. It is exactly everything that Tony and the family and all of us really feel is important in Soapbox Derby. It's sportsmanship. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you our 2022 Sportsman of the Year, Jonathan Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> Congratulations, buddy. So proud of you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as is tradition, every single Soapbox Derby, we have the opportunity to speak with the winners and some of their family. You may have seen this guy a couple times over the years, Fast Eddie Rutherford. First off, congratulations, Masters champion. Thank you, thank you. It All right. I'm sorry? It means a lot. You know, I do have a couple questions relating to that, but first I need to know, how'd you get the, how'd you get the, the name Fast Eddie? It was just something that Mr. Bates started when I was really little and it stuck. Uh, you, also have, you also have wheels. I've seen you run, you're pretty fast. <laughs> I did track and I do soccer, so there's a little bit there. Well, speaking of fast, you were the fastest down the hill today. Um, and there's a lot to cover because this is not your first trip to Akron, is that correct? That is correct. I've been two times before this and this will be my third now the past two times though you went on I, I believe rally points correct on rally points and you've been a rally champion before haven't you uh yes so what does it mean for you to win the local in masters division after waiting so long it's it's pretty nice because the other people that i was racing against are also very experienced they've been doing this for some of them a decade mm -hmm. so it's is definitely really nice and one of the things I noticed is you raced the Masters got done a little bit early this morning and then where did I see you you weren't relaxing on a chaise lounge in the Sun you were down in the pits and you've been volunteering and working all day long that is pretty incredible yeah all of the um, all of the Masters drivers that we have right now they're all also on the junior committee so after we finished racing this morning we were just helping out Everywhere. <laughs> yeah, and, and I appreciate it. I know the Derby does as well. So who's this handsome man sitting next to you? This is my dad. <laughs> now, Bobby, uh, you've been you've been seeing races for a long, long time. It's Father's Day weekend. Yep. You gotta be pretty pumped for your son. Oh, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. All right, so you get get ready to go to Akron again. You've already been there before. You know exactly what hotel you're gonna go in. You know the restaurants. But you have to be unbelievably excited. What's what's your next step to get ready for Akron? I don't even know. It's 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 incredible up there, really. There's a lot of people, a lot of people from all over the world. There's people from New Zealand over there. Wow, really? <laughs> there are. Nice. Well, Eddie, I, I know you got to get out of here. You have another. You're gonna have to. You got a busy weekend ahead of you. Uh, but again, I want to say congratulations. If you do, when you come back, can you let us know how you did? Absolutely. All right. Again, congratulations, Eddie Rutherford, our Masters champion. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to welcome to Paul Bates Raceway our Super Kids Division winner and heading to Akron, Mr. Remington. Remington, did you have fun today, buddy? Yes. What was your favorite part about today? I don't know. You don't know? No. Do you know I saw you when you were going down the track, and I have never seen a little boy so happy. Did you were you were you yelling all the way down the hill? Yes. <laughs> Are you excited to get this trophy home? Yes. Do you have any idea where you're gonna put this big, big trophy? Yes. Where? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, he's obviously, obviously excited, Kelly. And you guys have to be pretty psyched to have this happen. And you guys got a lot coming up. It was a great opportunity. Yep. Thanks to Frankie and Sheila. And then Aiden Dorico was great. He took him down. So, yeah, it was a really unexpected, um, just a great opportunity and great, a great day for it, too. It certainly is. Uh, so how, how are you uh, two planning on celebrating this weekend? What are we going to do, Rems? What are you going to do, buddy? Money. I know what you want to do after this. You already asked me. What do you want to go get? Mayo and ice cream. Ice cream. Can I come with you to get ice cream? I love ice cream. 
No. No. Oh, my goodness. Well, Remington, congratulations, buddy. Can I get a little knuckles? Way to go. Kelly, congratulations. I hope you guys have a great time in Akron. I've heard nothing but amazing things. And again, as you mentioned, I think it's a fantastic opportunity. And I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you very much. Again, we welcome another champion to Paul Bates Raceway. This in the form of our stock champion today, Ava. First off, Ava, congratulations. Thank you. All right, so uh, who, who who do we have over here? What's what's who are all these people? Uh, my dad, brother, and and brother, brother, older brother. <laughs> <laughs> older. <laughs> so uh, Ava, we have we have actually talked before, but this is your first championship, correct? And we talked what a couple years ago, and and when was that? When Sophie beat me. <laughs> oh, but she didn't beat you today. In fact, nobody beat you today. Yeah. So you got to be pretty excited. When did you th when did you know that, hey, you know what, I have, I have a chance of winning this? Um, probably when I beat Ryder the yeah. first time. And why is that? Because uh, I thought he was the biggest competitor here. He did have a fast car. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, if, if look behind me, we spoke with Luke earlier today. Junior committee, got the red shirt on. He's a pretty important guy. Um, but... How has Luke and your pit crew guided you towards your victory? Um, or have they? Dad for encouraging me through and lifting my car all the time. <laughs> and Zach probably for also encouraging me and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about this guy? I guess for helping me. <laughs> yeah, he may have done a little bit of work. All right, uh, I'm going to ask your dad a quick question. Okay, is that all right? Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. So uh, you have to be, I don't know, proud a little bit? Absolutely. Very proud. Yes. Very excited for her. So uh, you are obviously there's a lot of winning in the Morse family. Uh, again, continuing on. Uh, you guys are getting to be pros at this, right? <laughs> we've been doing it a few years. Yeah, we've, we've got a few trips down Paul Bates Raceway for sure. Yeah. All right. So Father's Day weekend. Got to be a pretty nice present. You're like, oh, yeah, that's right. How about that. Yeah, it's Father's Day weekend. Awesome. Thanks. Th is this my gift for Father's Day? Thank you. I'm going to put it in our bedroom if that's okay. So busy being a dad that you forgot, hey, it's dad's day. Right. <laughs> well, again, uh, Luke, you got to be pretty proud of your sister. Yes, sir. All right. So you can, between us, how much did you really help her? Uh, I think quite a bit, you know, um, coming down the track, helping her lift her cars, and then also managing everyone else's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so Ava, you got to be super psyched. How are you going to celebrate your big win? Uh, Father's Day. <laughs> Father's Day, good answer. I see Dad winking over there. So what are you most excited about going to Akron for? Um, probably the just staying there the whole week and having fun. Well, I know you want to get out of here. It's been a long day. I want to say congratulations to you. You are nothing but fantastic. Every single one of you have been fantastic over the years, and I thank you for your time. And again, congratulations. Thank you. All right, go win in Akron, okay? Yeah. All right, we'll see you when you win. And yet another opportunity to speak with our super stock division champion, Miss May. May, first off, uh, congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, so, how long have you been? How long have you been racing? This would be my fifth year actively being a part of this soapbox derby. Um, technically, four years actively racing. All right. So, what was the highest that you've ever finished? The highest before this uh, would have been third place, fourth, no, second. Second. I had to think about that. Thank goodness your parents are here. Yes. <laughs> All right. So what do you think contributed to your success this year? Um, this year, it was just, um, I think, a lot less of the pressure because it was my last year, and I just wanted to have a good year, not necessarily a high finish. All right. I'm going to ask your folks real, real quick, if that's all right. Deverell, right? And, and Bart? All right. So first off, uh, happy Father's Day. It is Father's Day weekend. Got to be pretty proud. Yeah. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm very proud of her. I did see you over there. I, I, I have... It's very easy to recognize the, the eyes of a proud father. Uh, it's also uh, easy to recognize the eyes of a proud mother. So, I mean, as you sit here after, after going through uh, all these years of racing, what's it like for you two to finally bring home or see your daughter bring home the, uh, the trophy? Actually, we're not that surprised. She, <laughs> she just seems to lead life with this star above her head and um, just one amazing opportunity after another it tends to come her way so it's a great way to finish um, since this will be her, her last super stock year um, I couldn't be happier for her um, well last year she lost by a one thousandth of a second and uh, the girls that she raced against last year and lost to was not in the race this year so I thought she had a pretty good chance <laughs> but I mean 
as long as she had fun. That's all that really mattered. By the way, that light you're talking about is probably you two <laughs> shining through her. I'm sure of that. So uh, what's next for you? I mean, we were talking just briefly before the interview. Obviously, you're a little excited for Akron, a lot going on. Yeah. But what are your thoughts right now? Uh, right now, I'm just still a little bit in shock that it worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, I like uh, the idea of just planning things, so I'm kind of excited for the planning aspect. Oh, we have a planner. <laughs> are you, are you, do, you, uh, do you do spreadsheets? My wife is a spreadsheet person. That would be me. <laughs> Mom's a spreadsheet? Mom is, right, yeah. I understand. Well, I know you guys have had a long day. Uh, great job, and congratulations. Uh, I hope that you, uh, I hope you have a great time in Akron, and if and or when you win, you come back and report with us, all right? Absolutely, will do. All right, again, congratulations, you guys. And our gratitude to the entire wonderful Soapbox Derby team. Yes, it's a great Because great. none of this would be possible without their amazing donations of time, energy, money. Um, we, we couldn't be more grateful for all of them. I know they will appreciate those words. They, they work very hard, and it's yeah. nice when somebody says, hey, thank you for that. Yeah, they're amazing. All right. Well, again, congratulations. Good luck in Akron. Happy Father's Day, and enjoy the remainder of your weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what an opportunity it is to speak with these champions, Maeve, Ava, <laughs> uh, Remington, and also Eddie. What great individuals led by great families, great pit crews, and what a great day of racing. We hope you've had an amazing day because I know we've certainly had. It's been windy, it's been nice, but most of all, it's been fun. We hope you continue to come out and support the Soapbox Derby of Culpeper. If you want to take part, maybe you want to volunteer, maybe you want to have your son, daughter take part, use the information on your screen and learn what the Derby community is all about. Well, folks, Nicole and I have had a great, great day again today, and we're glad you're here with us. We'll see you again next year, right here at Paul Bates Raceway. In the meantime, you have yourselves a great day, and of course, a better tomorrow.